fear Israel unions have accused young upstart, Macron, of trying to force privatization by stealth, in what is the biggest strike row France has suffered since 1995. Emmanuel Grundine, head of Sudrail, blasted the En Marche frontman, We're defending the French public service, not just rail workers. Mr. Macron wants to turn around the fortunes of loss making rail companies in France, and plans to revamp education overhaul pensions and weaken labor laws in other areas if he gets his way. Now France's four main rail unions will strike for two in every five days for the next three months to signal their anger at a shake-up of the national SNCF rail monopoly, which could be opened up to competition by new EU laws. Getty France in chaos, Macron brought to Nice by strike the plans could see SNCF workers lose their job for life guarantees automatic annual pay rises and generous early retirement policies. The SNCF saw just half of its staff go to work after the Easter holiday weekend, with commuter lines, bus services and TGV routes decimated. Police were even called to help people on an overcrowded bus, according to reports. Meanwhile international services fared little better out of the strikes. Three and four Eurostar services connecting London with Paris and Brussels were down and trains between France. Switzerland, Italy, and Spain were down altogether. Getty France in chaos. Macron wants to reform labor law. NCF boss Guillaume Peep said, I want to be very clear. The strike action will no doubt be widely adhered to and is going to make the lives of a lot of people very difficult. The communist hinge CGT union has called for other sectors to show solidarity with their rail counterparts. Energy workers already plan to join strike action from April 3rd to June 28th and the CGT wants public and private sector employees nationwide to strike on April 19. So far, private sector workers have demurred. Last time France faced strikes on this scale, then-President Alain Juppé bailed on his reforms to workers' benefits, with London still the world leader for financial services. Mr. Macron knows that he must retool his economy in other areas to remain a global player. He hopes that he can withstand this union-backed onslaught, as he tries to make the French economy competitive.